Well, after what felt like a never-ending losing streak in the league, we finally won a game, only to follow that up with two losses in a row. Hiya folks and welcome to Club 2, Episode 3 of Half Star to 5 Star here on Football Manager 24. I'm Russ, come today we have two league games to you. The first one is away to St. Johnson. Then we are home to local rivals, extremely local rivals, Dundee. So as I said in the intro, we have finally ended this, this losing streak in the league that we're on. We beat St. Mirren 3-2. Uh, William Porter got the goal and so did Ben Murray. Ben Murray picking up two in that game. But, I mean, you guys saw the Queen's Park in the Dundee games. We then lost to Hearts and Celtic. We did play a friendly to try and get some confidence into us, try and get some goals into the side, and we absolutely battered that team 8-0. Six goals going to Ben Murray, so I'm hoping he can continue that as things progress. As we look at the league table, then, we are in ninth, 27 points, with uh, how many games would be left to play? Nine games to play. So I, I, I don't think St. John's going to catch us. So I, I think the relegation spot is completely gone. But it's, I don't want to end up playing here. I don't want to be 11th. I don't want to do that playoffs. You know what I'm like with playoffs. I'm absolutely dreadful. So, it, I mean, if we can't get promoted, we're probably going to get relegated if we go in there. So we do need to finish as high as we possibly can. So let's just jump straight into it then. St. Johnson on a Friday. I don't know if we're on the telly box, but... Uh, who, who cares? We, we we just need to pick up a win. We have changed the formation as well. We are going with something similar to what we used when we were at Galatasaray in the uh, in the beta save. So I'm hoping it's going to work for us. So the team we're putting out there is Shepard in goal, a back four of Graham, Fainwo, Capalero, and Macari. Uh, Domaraki in the deep line playmaker role with Glass just in front of him. Ozane, Turner Cook and Porter supported Murray up front. Murray is working out quite well in this deep line forward role and having that shadow striker sat behind him, I'm kind of hoping that the ball's going to... He can hold the player and the shadow striker advances on and we get the goals that way. We also have the inside forward and we have the inverted winger as well. So there should be goals in the front four. It's just whether or not we can actually achieve it. And I've also realised we haven't won on camera. So I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be the first win that you guys see. With, with us in charge of Dundee, Dundee United. It's, it's coming. It needs to happen. Just realised that they've uh, St. Johnson got Jack Butland in goal as well. So Rangers have uh, released him at some point. And the opening 12 minutes has been St. Johnson so far. They've got another highlight here. It is a corner being whipped in towards that back post. We have got it clear. Glass is trying to chase the ball down. Can't win it. And Dundee... St. Johnson put it into the box and we've conceded. That was straight at the goalkeeper, straight down his throat and he didn't even attempt to save it. Area we need to work on. St. Johnston 1, Dundee United nil. It's not not what we need. We're going to end up in that, that relegation playoff fight, aren't we? That's just I just see it happening now. We've got the ball though. Glass chips that forward into Porter. Touches it on trying to find Turner Cook. He does, but he can't steer his shot into the goal. He goes inches wide. Rolls past the post. And again, 20 minutes on the clock and it is St. Johnston with a, another highlight. We just need to win the ball somewhere. I don't think the Gagan press is working for us here at the moment. I, I, whatever we do doesn't seem to work either way. Ozane tried to get the ball clear. It's only gone as far as a St. Johnston player on the halfway line. Just put a tackle in someone. Oh, we've, just, we've let him get into the box. We've let him get into the box. It has ping-ponged around. We've got it clear. Ozane up this left-hand side. Shifts the play over to Porter on the right. And so he, he wanted the ball at him. Wasn't willing to come for it. But Porter does slide in. And the highlight does end. We we need to up, up the intensity. Porter puts it in. Ozane! Oh, we get the goal back. 1-1. One, one. I was just about to change it up to attacking. I am going to praise the boys. Maybe that's the problem. I'm not praising them enough. I'm not giving them... Uh, enough juice for what, what enough juice for what is actually happening on the pitch. Maybe if we do that, we can get enough out of the team, get the wins, and just just get us over the line to the end of the season, and then and then rebuild this club because it, it needs to be rebuilt. I thought we gave away a penalty then. Let's put across. We're two one down. Can we have the penalty? Can we give them a penalty, please? I mean that that, that would make me a lot happier. Two one St Johnston. I mean, it's straight after we praised them as well. Six minutes after we scored, praising the team, they got the other end score. Oh, we've got so much work to do here. So, so much work. I'm going to go on the attack. And I'm not going to give any shouts because we're so close to half time. I'm going to get the boys in and we are going to give them a right roasting. I think it's needed. Um, 
We're going to go with that there. And I'm also going to do an individual shout on Declan Glass. And say, you need to get your act together. Get your act together for the second half. Go and get us some goals. Go and create something. Just just, yeah, do something that's going to impact the game. And get us going. Get us, get us scoring goals. There's a corner for St. Johnston. Putting it in towards that back post. Mm, infuriating this is. I'm going to lose my job here. I could just see it now. I'm going to lose my job. At Dundee United, before the season comes to an end, let's make some substitutions. Actually, we won't. We'll let this highlight play out. Fame were with a big heady clearance in in in, in St. Johnson's half. Glass into Porter. Shoot! Oh, he does, and it's a save from the goalkeeper. We have a corner opportunity to get ourselves another one goal back, with the opportunity to, to hopefully get the equaliser. No, it's too close to goalkeeper. Far too close to goalkeeper. The highlight does end there. So let's make these substitutions then. I mean, Glass is going to have to come off because he's playing awful. Uh, 6.3. Uh, to be honest, everyone's playing awful. Kai Fotheringham could come on there. McLeod can go up front. Uh, who have we got to play in the middle? Luke Harris can come on. He can play there. Um, And I think that do. Confirm those substitutions. Oh, we need to do something. We need to do something quickly. Let's demand some more out of them. Demand some more. Go very attacking. I think we just ended our own highlight there. Not that anything was going to come of it anyway. It was as as I clicked the button, it, it sort of faded away. So it's a wasted wasted free kick from us. Another substitution. Makari needs to come off because he is tired. I don't have anyone who can play. Oh, I do. I do have someone who can play there. So we're going to bring on Rocker. He can come on. Fengmo can swap with him. And uh, do we have a defensive midfielder on the bench? We don't, so we will bring on bring on this guy. Push him up there. Go with this for the remaining 10 minutes. Hopefully, it's going to result in two goals, but I can't see it. I really can't see it. I think... I, I, I say I think. I, I, I sort of know we're going to lose our job here. Maybe they'll give me a little bit of time towards the end of the season. We're giving away a penalty as well now. Oh. You know when things... You know when things aren't going your way and everything goes against you? 4-1 to bottom of the table. Maybe this was a, just too much of a step up for us. We stepped up from the Vanarama side to the Scottish Premier League. And we're getting found out. Getting absolutely found out. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Right, said that to the boys. Um, I don't know, I really don't know what to do. What, what's, what are they, what's the board and everyone saying C plus, B minus. So we're okay at the moment. We just need to improve, don't we? Let's go to the next game. Hopefully we can get a win there. The team then for the Dundee game is Shepard in goal, back four, Fainwo, Graham, Capillero and Makari, Turner Cook and Dom Racky in the centre midfield. We've pushed the deep line playmaker from the defence midfield player into the centre midfield just to not get overrun in midfield. I, I think that's, that, that might be one of the issues we've got there. We've got Middleton, Harris and Porter supporting Murray up front. I'm um, not optimistic, if, to, I mean, to say the least. Dundee local rivals, they are ahead of us at the moment. They knocked us out of the Scottish Cup in the previous round. It would be great to get a win here. I mean, even if we draw, a draw would be brilliant. It'd be our first like first point picked up on the as part of this save on camera as well. It's been it's been long coming and it's overdue and we absolutely need it. And this first highlight is with Dundee. We've managed to get it back though. We turned the ball around, Turner into Fame on this left hand side, Middleton. Is that to go back? We've just got no options in any space in front of our players at the moment. Graham turns it to Don Racky. Back to Capillero. Create some space, boys. Create some space and the ball will come to you. There's Harris. As a shot. Oh, rattles the crossbar. Goes over the bar. Goal kick. And it's being played up. I mean, we should win this ball. We we don't. It was an easy ball to win and we've not, we've not come away with it. It's Dundee now down the right-hand side. Come on, Tangerines. Put a challenge in. 
Fed over the top. We should deal with this. We do. Fame with the ball. Goes back to Shepard. Capillero working out from the back then. Turner Cook. Left hand side still. Fame well. Gives it to Middleton. He turns. He's got two players around us who kind of had to retreat a little bit. Gone to Graham. Where's the options forward? Where is the space being created? It's not happening for us at the moment. Makari then, right hand side. Got space to run into. Feeds it to Porter. Across to Harris. Who's in the box. Murray. Oh, we need that. Oh, we need that one. We need that one massively. Dundee United 1. Dundee nil. Get another one. Settle any nerves. That's, that's, been, that's what we need to do. That's what I want us to do now. And just push on from it. Push on from... From... from mediocre horrible football we've been playing recently Turner Cook then over the middle to this left hand side we are finding pockets of space now rode the challenge gets the ball back gives it to Turner Cook Dom Racky over to Porter has a shot from range never going in I don't know why the keeper had to make the save there he should have just left it we've got a corner though Harris is going to put this in in towards that back post where Graham is he's not won it it's been put back in too high though, goalkeeper comes out, claims it, and uh, highlight does end there. It's a better performance from us. I must admit, it is a better performance for us. We've got seven shots, three of those on target, an XG of 0 0.72. So we are, we're clinical, just need to be a little bit more clinical and get a second goal here. Maybe it come from this throw in. Fengwe then, into Harris, and he's easily lost it. They've booted it. Miles up the pitch. Shepard plays it out into Graham. We go down the left-hand side again. Shift the play. Shift it over to the right. Oh, well, he does that trying to find Harris. It's never going to reach him. Dundee's goalkeeper goes long as well with the ball. We deal with this one. Oh, no, we don't. Don Racky's not seen the man come up behind him. Wins the ball and it is now Dundee in their half. Working it through the centre. Porter does well to stuff the attack. Don Racky feeds it forward. It is into Porter. Put the cross in. He does. Oh, good save from the keeper. Harris was there. Probably should have scored that one. Very, very good save. Harris has come deep to get this ball from the free kick. Makari then on the right-hand side. Just run it to the line and put a cross in. Feeds it to Porter. Porter does to Middleton. Middleton's shot has hit the trailing leg of the goalkeeper. Fortuitously for Dundee, it's gone out for a corner. Harris is going to put this one in. Can we find a tangerine head? We don't. They get it clear. They are they're, they're on the ropes, aren't they? Harris end Middleton. Short free kick there. Makari goes to Dom Racky. Fainwo left hand side. Don't shoot. Whatever you do, don't shoot your defender. Turner Cook gives it back to Fainwo. I think we've uh, wasted our opportunity here. Dom Racky into Harris. Back to Dom Racky. As I said, wasted the opportunity. Too many passes. Makari's there to win the ball, though. Capillero, just get it away. Get it clear. Porter into Don Racky. Murray turns. Feeds it to Harris. Harris to Middleton in the box. There's a second. Oh, there's some nerve settled right at the end of this half as well. Dundee United 2, Dundee 0. And it was coming and expected, if I'm totally honest. Oh, Porter's done well to win. Nick the ball here. Can we get a third? Is a third on the card? Turner Cook into Don Racky. Oh, very, very good shot. Over the bar though. Goalkeeper probably would have saved it if it was a bit lower. It was sort of too central. And we go in half time. 2 nil up. Brilliant performance so far. Absolutely brilliant. The only player who's not... Well, I say the only player who's not playing that great is Don Racky. But I'm going to keep him on. I do like him. He's a very good midfielder. He's a very good midfield option. And near enough every player on our team is on a green rating. Over 7.0. We've got the ball here. Middleton. Goes back to Fainwell. Is he pulled up? It looked like he pulled up a little bit there. Maybe it might have just been been his pace or something along those lines. But yeah, looked like he had an injury. Seems to be okay now. We need to get this ball clear. Oh, Makari does well. Puts the striker off. Don Racky stops it out. That is never a penalty. He's won the ball. Won the ball there. Shepard, you need to make a save. Oh, and he does as well. Oh, absolutely brilliant save. It was down his throat, if I'm totally honest, but the spin puts it out for a corner. We need to get this one clear now. We do. Fengmo does get it clear. 
and the highlight does end there absolutely fantastic save just what we need i'm going to make some changes now uh right back we need to make a change because makari is looking tired um i think we'll just do what we did similar christopher rocky can come on and capillero can sit there we'll swap these two round and the, actually famo can go there famo is a better defender and the other substitution we'll make we'll bring on we'll bring on a alessandro denunzio Brought in from Roma. You can come on and play there. He's aggressive for whatever reason. Hopefully he doesn't lose his head on his debut for us. Right on the left-hand side then. Famewell. 59 minutes on the clock. Plays into Turner Cook. Turner Cook over to Graham. Famewell then. Graham again. He's gone all the way back to Shepard. Building this up from the back. Capillero right-hand side now to Macari. McCarry into Harris, touches it to Porter. Murray's offside. He's now got himself back on side, but isn't gone to Murray. It hasn't gone to Murray, sorry. I'll use real English here. It's gone to Middleton. Middleton has put it in. 3 0 on the hour mark. Second goal of the game. We make those changes now for Mr. Middleton. This is a wonderful performance from us. Absolutely brilliant. If we can cap this off with a with a clean sheet, that'd be brilliant as well. I, I, I can't see it happening because we we, we know we're leaky defence. The goalkeeper isn't the greatest as well. But it, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's signs of life and signs of improvement as well. And oh, Shepard's done well to make a save there. He's hit his foot, looped up over the bar. What, can we get this corner clear? Corner clear, get a counter-attack on the go. We do get it clear, but it's not going to be a counter-attack. It goes back to the corner taker. And ends there. Although they do have a throw in now on this left hand side. Need to stay strong, lads. Oh, we do. Oh, actually, it's a poor shot from uh, from the Dundee player. He blasts it over the bar. Harris then with a corner. Graham. Oh, we got a penalty. Oh, is it going to be one that goes in our favour, though? Dundee players trying to crowd around the referee. We do. It's got to be Middleton takes this one. He's on a hat trick. Is it Middleton or is it Murray? It's Murray. Murray steps up. 4-0 to the Tangerines. Get in there. Come on. 67 minutes on the clock. Dundee United 4. Dundee 0. And it has been all us this game. It has been brilliant. This is the, the sort of football I was expecting us to... Well, wanted us to play for, for, from the get-go. Finally glad it's actually uh, happening now. We're going to make some changes. Burnside's going to come on for Turner Cook. Um, now we'll just keep him around this way. And then for the next trick, Fotheringham's. I want to bring Fotheringham on. But, there is a but. I don't know where to play him. We could play left and right here, but these, he's, on, he's on for a hat trick. And he's having an absolute blinder, so... We'll do, we'll do that. We'll just make the changes in the last 10 minutes just to, to, to kill the game off. Then we've, got, we've got 10 minutes now, so when do we pull the button? I think we'll pull the button after this highlight. Shepard gives it to Fainwell. Left-hand side then to Rockia. He goes into Middleton. Middleton plays that ball for trying to find Harris. It was too close to the Dundee defenders. Uh, they had two of them there just trying to crowd him out. I don't think they want to concede another goal. I mean, whatever they can see now is going to be damage limitation for them. Hopefully, we can uh, we can see out this attack. Not concede. Don't concede. Capillaro is let him get in the box. Is he off? No, he's not. He is onside. We have lost that clean sheet. So, it's, that clean sheet bonus has gone for the defenders, midfielders, and the goalkeeper. So, we save a little bit of money there. And, uh, yeah, we'll make those changes then. Fotheringham can come on for... Um, he can come on for Middleton. And in the last change, we will bring on bring on Rory McLeod. He can play on the right-hand side for Porter. That's the changes. We've got two minutes left to go. Brilliant performance from us so far. Corner here is four minutes of time added on to Graham. Heads it. No, it's been clear. Dundee down their right-hand side. Going back into their defender now. Put a challenge in, boys. You're putting the pressure on nicely, but Burnside with a sliding challenge. Doesn't fall to us, though. It is again with Dundee. They've got into the box. Luckily, the shot is absolutely dreadful. Miles past the post. I'm going to praise the boys. And uh, hopefully we can get this corner clear. Not concede another goal. Although we probably have won this game. Four minutes, two minutes left to go. Off the line. We cleared it off the line. Brilliant. 
Brilliant defending. Again, more defending. Fainwell clears it. It's into Burnside. Murray, all the space in the world. Fotheringham on this left-hand side now. Cuts the ball across. There's no one there. Absolutely no one there in the box. Just need to look up a little bit. I thought it's a foul ref. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We've won a game. We've won a game on camera. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from the boys. We just need more of that now going forward. Where does that put us in the table? We are ninth. Seven points clear of St. Mirren with, uh, what is it, seven games to go? I think we're pretty, pretty clear of it. If I'm totally honest, I think we're going to finish eighth, ninth, tenth. One of those three positions anyway. Right. With the schedule then. We got two normal games and then we split into in, in, into two halves for the league. So we'll end up playing. Uh, it'll either be Hibs, Dundee, and then this is the rest of the teams there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back for the final two games of the season. I'm pretty sure we're, we're safe for St. Johnston. It's just whether or not we're going to be in 11th in this relegation battle. So if you guys have enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. We actually won a game. Hooray! Uh, subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already done so folks and as always thank you very much for watching